Hey guys, Hector here with sort of a controversial vlog. So I'm part of the IGN anime group on Facebook. It's, you know, just a, I think it's a closed group, but they usually approve anybody who wants to join or whatever. Anyways, so I've been hearing a ton of news about the Ghost in the Shell live action movie. I probably shouldn't really care because usually live action movies that are adapted from anime usually suck. And especially when an American movie company makes a, a movie from like, Japan or usually from any other country it usually sucks even more but uh, the topic kind of interested me because I talked about it sort of before on my um, website but never really on video form so people are really getting all pissed off because they cast Scarlett Johansson in the lead role and they're saying well Ghost in the Shell is an anime it's a Japanese movie and stuff they should cast at least an Asian person maybe or hopefully Japanese or something like that and then there's a bunch of back and forth going, well, what about this? What about that? So one of the things I heard on the Facebook group is that, well, Japan kind of does the same thing. They might make a live action version of an anime. And in that anime, they'll specifically say that the character is not Japanese, but they'll cast Japanese people anyways. And I can easily say, well, that's because it's a Japanese movie company and Japan is 98% Japanese and another like 1.5% Asian or something and only like a 0.5% everything else and so it's a lot harder to find actors that are not Japanese in a Japanese movie company in Japan and then um, I have heard other people say well isn't it kind of racist to say another race can't play a role even though it was originally supposed to be a certain race like there was a lot of people talking about that during the Fantastic Four movie the I think is the last Fantastic Four movie I don't know I'm not a huge superhero fan um, so I believe they cast a black dude in a white dude's role and his sister was also and the character's sister you know it was also a person of the Fantastic Four but they casted a white person so they had a black person and a white person they're supposed to be related and so a lot of people were getting all upset about that and not even just that they're interracial family or something but that they cast a black person in a white person's role and so some people said you can't argue about that because that's racist you can have any race in any role personally me I'm a real stickler for um, accuracies in the original source material I even was upset with how they cast Harry Potter yes he's a white British dude but he had brown hair and he had blue eyes when Harry Potter kept saying everybody kept saying in the books he has black hair and green eyes and every freaking person said Oh, you have your mother's eyes. They casted a woman with green eyes in the mother's role. Harry Potter, Daniel Radcliffe had blue eyes. So that made no goddamn sense. And that still pissed me off. So, of course, everything else like that would kind of piss me off. So, I should also say, uh, fair warning, I haven't seen Ghost in the Shell. It's on, like, my two-watch list. I have a bunch of anime that I need to watch. So I'm not even sure if the characters in Ghost in the Shell are specifically supposed to be Japanese. But even so... There were like some supposed leaked documents. I don't know if they're accurate because there's always a bunch of trash on the internet. You can never really believe it. There were supposedly some leaked, do leaked documents that said the cast and crew try to make Scarlett Johansson look a little bit more Asian through makeup. So people who would say you can't or you can cast any race in any role would also go around and say that that's wrong because that's pretty much yellow face, I guess you can say. Like when they used to cast white people in black people's roles and they would put black makeup on them, that's blackface. So if you cast white person in an Asian person's role and try to make them look Asian, that's yellow face, that's also racist, and that is also not cool. And another argument is you have to cast a high profile actor like Scarlett Johansson if you want to get people to see the movie. But in my opinion, I think that's not true. Because I don't think that they're going to be spending that much money on this movie when they're just importing the type, the story from a different country because they've done this before, like with um, Blood, The Last Vampire. They might made that into a live action movie, and I believe that was made by an American movie company. They did not spend that much money on it. It didn't look like it, and it wasn't really a good movie. They didn't put their heart and soul into it, and they didn't put their money into it. So I'm not 100% sure that they're going to be, be doing the same with Ghost in the Shell. I might be wrong, but I'm not going to hold my breath on that. And also, you can look at Mortal Kombat for a good example. I think Mortal Kombat was like the best-selling or whatever um, movie that was made from a video game. Video game adapted movie or movie adapted video game, however way that goes. Anyways, so 
they didn't exactly get high profile actors on that well you know the, the dude who played Raiden who was also white in, instead of being Asian it's Christopher Lambert that was probably the highest profile actor on the entire cast but then the main people you know Luke Kang Shang Tsung they weren't exactly high profile actors you know the dude who did who played Shang Tsung did do quite a bit of movies and TV shows well not a ton and they weren't exactly high profile and the dude who did Luke King I think that was pretty much his breakout role in Mortal Kombat so it's not like they were super well established actors and so if they do a good enough job you think that role would kind of make them but then at the same time I guess you can say Mortal Kombat was just an action fighting movie so comparing that to like Ghost in the Shell I don't think you can really make a good comparison based on the genres another example that pissed me off is when um, the US remade The Grudge they kept the setting in Japan. They had the ghost lady Japanese, or at least some sort of Asian ethnicity. They had the police people Asian. They had one housekeeper Asian who was only on there for like five minutes or something. And then all of the rest of the cast was white. They just recasted everybody as white, even though it took place in Japan. And they kind of changed the story for it to be an English language family coming to Japan and all that stuff. So. I just get tired of that kind of stuff sometimes and it just keeps happening and um so well I kind of want to speak out against it and that's why I'm making this vlog but this is just my opinion and then other people have other opinions saying that maybe it's racist maybe it's not racist maybe this sort of thing is racist because like I said some people say you can cast any race in any role and if you disagree with that then that's racist but if you try and cast one race and make them look like another race then that's racist and that's also bad so that's just my thoughts and my opinions but i would love to hear your guys thoughts and opinions in the comment se section so you can leave a comment below if you like but i guess that's all i got to say about this particular topic it was just kind of eating away at me so i had to do a video but um i don't know i guess if you agree with me well if you just appreciate me talking about this topic at least bringing it to your guys attention so you guys can comment back you can give this video a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel for more Japanese and otaku related stuff you know sometimes I do vlogs like this sometimes I do product reviews just a bunch of different stuff all related to Japanese and otaku culture so if you want to see any of that definitely subscribe because more is going to be coming in the future mm -hmm.